Hello, citizens of Earth. We're all time low. I'm Alex. I'm Jack Busnet. And uh, yeah, watch watch this watch this fucking video, all right? Watch the video and, watch and enjoy it. it. Watch enjoy it. it. Watch it. Enjoy it. Watch it. How does it feel to be on tour with Good Charlotte? It's okay. Good who? Good who? Um. Stop it. Hey, what's up? Hi. <laughs> you thought I was mad. I'm not mad. Yeah. Okay. So. It feels good. It feels good. Um, they rub me down on a daily basis. We actually grew up going to Good Charlotte shows and hanging outside their shows, getting autographs. So. That's pretty cool. That was when Benji but now they're wore, getting that was autographs. When Benji wore sweet eyeliner. Yeah, and he had Liberty spikes. But now they're getting in. They're they're asking for autographs from us. Yeah. What do fans do that make you really uncomfortable? And what do they do that you really love? Um, I am sometimes weirded out just by like hysterical people, um, in general. But like, yeah, I I don't I never know what to do when someone, like, freaks out in front of me. I get super uncomfortable when fans ask to. Uh, to, to give me a piggyback ride? Yeah. Because I'm always... I'm always you a piggyback ride on this pitch? I'm like, first of all, I'm afraid, I'm afraid for like some freak accident my balls might just like slip out or something. I don't know how that would be possible. It's, it's very possible. It is possible, though. And like I'm afraid... First of all, I'm afraid my balls are going to slip out. And second of all, I'm always afraid they're going to drop me. One of your fans wants so, uh, to know... One of your fans wants to know why you stopped going barefoot on stage. Because uh, I would hurt I would hurt my feet, actually. Um, I like... We jump and I would run around and like stomp so much and stuff. I would end up, like, I think I almost broke my heel once. Like I, yeah. So. Somebody else wants to know, Jack. What do you do with all the bras that are thrown on stage? And have you ever saved one and given it to a lady friend? <laughs> Here I got you this. <laughs> Someone. I mean, some of them be expensive. I got you this sweaty. Some of them are really expensive, so I sell them. Um, <laughs> no, last tour, the GK tour. We um. We collected all the bras that were thrown on stage, and at the end of tour, I think it was around like 2,400 or something retar like some like ridiculous oh amount. God. So like we uh, we collected all the braziers, and uh, during the last song of We the King set, we threw them all on stage, like six of us. So the entire stage was covered in bras, like like knee deep in bras. Nice. Um, so yeah. you're already working on a new album. Can you tell us some details about it? Um, yeah, it's good. It's like, the best, it's like the best album we've ever done. It's really a big departure from like the usual music that people play. It's not really like, it's not notes this time. <laughs> oh. It's more like... No, but really. <laughs> 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 really. Um, yeah, so we, we have about half done now. We have to come back in July after this tour and finish it's it. Our first, it's our first uh, album actually coming out on a major record label. Pretty good. Um, I think that's all my questions. No. Um, I'm done. Smell it. No! Smell it. That was on somebody from Forever the Sickest Kids in the House. Probably in their balls. <laughs> really, they wipe everything on, in the, on their dicks. Do they really? They, 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 everything, I didn't see it. It, it, didn't, it didn't go there. Everything that those kids touch has touched their dicks. 